Good to be with you on this Monday in the third week following the Festival of Pentecost. It is June the 22nd, 2020. We gather together around God's Word to be strengthened in faith, and has been our practice on Mondays. We're taking a look at the psalm that was appointed for yesterday, the third Sunday after Pentecost. Uh, Specifically, that psalm was Psalm 91, and it is a rather familiar psalm. Uh, It has a lot of uh, language that is uh, very uh, familiar to us. And likewise, it's even, uh, there's a hymn that is based upon Psalm 91, uh, a more contemporary hymn that uh, is loved by many. Um, But the, the psalm begins off with these words. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And what a wonderful promise this is from the Lord, that those who dwell in his shelter abide in his shadow. So to be in his shadow means that you are resting safe and secure underneath him as he watches over you and takes care of you. Uh, You have similar language that happens as you continue to go through Psalm 91, where it talks about how he spreads his pinions over you. So here uh, is, uh, if you will, that picture of the eagle's wings. Here's the hymn that is based off of Psalm 91. Uh, The hymn uh, with the eagle's wings spread over you because there you have shelter under him and his care for you. Wonderful promise. It even gets so great that later on you hear these words. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. Now, who cannot rejoice in that? But there's also a temptation with this. The temptation is to make something of these words that the Lord does not intend. And this is especially poignant in our day because there is a very real plague that is besetting the world right now. That's COVID-19. So, uh, is this the Lord telling you that if you dwell in his shelter, if you abide in his shadow, and therefore if you have enough faith that you don't have to worry about COVID-19, that it cannot touch you, and that you'll never succumb to it? Well, that is not what he is saying here. In fact, that would be rather uh, dangerous uh, teaching for me to tell my congregation, to tell you, that you don't need to fear COVID-19. Um that it can't do anything to you. Well, I might be able to tell you don't fear it, but I will tell you that it is not a promise that it won't afflict you. There are plenty of faithful Christians who have been afflicted by it. Some have perished. Other faithful Christians, not because of a lack of faith, they have succumbed to other diseases, might be cancer or uh, cardiovascular disease and on down the line, and it's not due to a lack of faith. So, when the Lord says, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent, what is he actually promising you? Well, a best way to get at that answer is to remember that Psalm 91 is like the rest of Scripture, that everything finds its fulfillment in Christ himself. And that becomes rather clear with Psalm 91 as you continue to go through, because you also hear these familiar words. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Now, these are the very words that are quoted by Satan himself when he is tempting Jesus. And when he tells him, oh, throw yourself down from the pinnacle of the temple. That's the shelter of the Most High. Throw yourself down because he's going to command his angels concerning you, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And of course, Christ immediately sees that this is being manipulated and misapplied by the devil. In fact, Christ most certainly dwells in the shelter of his Father. His faith, his trust in his Father is without fault. It is perfect. And yet what happens to him? The Father withdraws his angelic protection of Christ. In the garden, when Jesus is being betrayed and his uh, disciples are wanting to fight for him, Jesus' response is, if I desired, I could call down legions of angels to defend me, but I'm not doing that. Why? Because he does trust in his Father, and he knows that it's his Father's will that he suffer that he be betrayed, that he be given into death for our salvation. This is a fit reminder to us that this, therefore, Psalm 91 is not a promise to you that you'll never have trouble in this life, 
but rather that the Lord will guard you through that trouble, whether it is COVID-19, cancer, uh, the estrangement of family and friends, or whatever it might be. In fact, as you get to the end of Psalm 91, you hear this. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. So rather than a promise that you won't have any trouble, this is the Lord promising that he'll be with you in the trouble. It's just like in the Lord's Prayer. When we pray, deliver us from evil, that is not us saying, God, I know you'll never let, uh, ha let me have any problems in life. But rather, it's that as evil comes upon us, that it will not overtake us, that God will guard us through that, so that even if the evil that comes upon us should rob us of our life, it cannot rob us of eternal life because the Lord keeps us safe within the shelter of the Most High as we abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for your loving care and protection for us. Grant us safety in this life, but even when the evils of this world are visited upon us, grant us confidence that you will not abandon us in our time of need, but that you will guard us lest we fall away from you, safeguarding us in the true faith so that we might have life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.